Mm. <laughs> okay. Throw the book at me. Lecture me on my moral shortcomings. I deserve it. Do you want me to leave? No. Well, that's something. Oh, don't look at this like it's some sort of moral victory. I just think that... I was thinking about it, and I think that you're right about this one thing. I mean, we have to find out who killed Sasha, and if we do it separately, it'll just take too long. Hmm. So we're brought together by exigency. I had a rosier picture of things somehow. Well, you take what you can get, I guess. Do you have any other theories about who may have tried to shoot Ethan when Sasha got in the way? Well, I did have a chance to go through the files down at the courthouse. Ethan hasn't received any recorded death threats by mail or phone. None that have been reported, anyway. I kept wondering about Laura. Or is that just another sign of my advancing dementia? Police, it's all over. What's wrong? Nothing, nothing, nothing. I just, I always wanted to talk like that since I got my badge back. <laughs> Clever. Nerve-wracking, but clever. I don't mean to upset you. So what do you think? Me being back on the force. Oh, I think it's wonderful. Yeah. I really do. I, I heard yeah. about it a, a couple days ago, and I, I wanted to call you, and I, I'm yeah. just thrilled for you. How do you, okay. how do you like it? Uh, great. The hours are great. All day and all night and all week. I thought I was just going to do traffic tickets for a couple of years, but Chris has given me a couple of cases I can get involved in, which is kind of why I'm here, actually. Well, what about... We're investigating the attempted murder of Ethan Asher. Oh, right. That's all everybody's talking about at the courthouse. Yeah, well, I was kind of hoping I could pick your brain on this one and get a little personal legal insight. Uh, about what? You know the situation out of the courthouse. I just wonder if you know anybody that might be gunning for Ethan's job or want to put him out of commission just so they could get a shot at it. Oh, I don't know anybody who would, who would want to kill Ethan. I, I mean, there's this normal backstabbing right, that goes right, on in the courthouse right. fraternity, but that's right. not literal. And Boy, I just... Uh, can't think of anybody, but I'll give it some thought. Okay, well, I remember that Ethan and Mason were against each other in the election, but I don't think Mason's really the murdering kind. Oh, no. I don't either. No. So how are the two you doing? Great. Yeah. We're doing great. He's moved back in here, and Samantha, of course, is very happy. Good. I bet she is. And how about you? Are you happy? Yes. Yeah. I'm very happy. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm adjusting, you know, and if at first you don't succeed, try, try, try again. Right, right, right. right. Oh. Uh, is Mason Capwell there? Oh, I'm sorry, he's not. Can I take a message? Uh, uh, this is the caretaker up at the cemetery. Uh, Mr. Capwell wanted me to keep a special eye on things. Hey, has something happened? Uh, I'm his wife. Oh, well, I, I just heard some weird noises around the Capwell crypt. Really? All right, I'll let Mason know as soon as he gets in. Okay. Thanks for calling. Well, I'm not going to keep you. Just if you think of anybody that might have been out to get Ethan, just let me know. Of course. Of course I will. Good night. And I, I really am glad that things are going better for you now. Thanks. I'm happy for you, too. Yeah. Okay. Bye-bye. Now. Mason, what a nice surprise. The nurse told me you were here. Hello? Mason, there's some kind of trouble at the cemetery. What do you mean? I just got a call from one of the security guards. He said there's some strange noises from around the crypt. Well, it could have been somebody from the family visiting. They do bring flowers sometimes. But what if it wasn't? Well, then I think you'd better meet me at the main gates in half an hour so we can check things out for ourselves. All right. A half hour. And if you're late, I'll kill you. I'm sorry about that, Laura. Unfortunately, something's come up. I'm going to have to leave. I apologize for the truncated visit, but uh, just remember that if there's anything I can do for you, 